Welcome to the AI Preview Show with me, Davey B and Doggesser. We're going to be previewing this afternoon's meeting at Doncaster live on SIS. Let's get into the action. Race one is an A2 over 483 metres. Gemma's Kane in one. Ferry Force Fiona in two. Rosanda Bondi in three. Wakiki Limit in four. Tom's Rambo in five. And in six, Bitview Dash. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um... <sighs> I think Wakiki limits the uh, the sort of the good thing in the race. Bondi has a twenty nine fifty eight on his card, um, but he's going to dive to the rails. The two doesn't really have the early pace of the one and the three. I think the one will hold the inside and turn sort of second dog. Um, Bitview Dash and Tom's Rambo are both going to cut in a bit. That's the only danger for Limit is that the four is uh, the five is going to cut in a little bit uh, to Rambo. Um, but I still think Limit's probably just better than these, so I'd have to side with uh, Wakiki Limit, but I'm hoping the one runs well. So Doggesser's selection in race one is trap four, Wakiki Limit. Race two is an A1 over 483 metres. Firehight Sue in one, Kilvus Jake in two, Easy Article in three, Barnside Sanchez in four, Crinkle Ball in five, and in six, Katunda Tom. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? This is a very good A1 race. Um, I am with Barnside Sanchez. Um, the two is the fastest dog in the race, no doubt. The only problem is it's got pace either side and it's boxed up. To be honest, um, how it gets a run. The one does edge off a little bit from the red as well. Um, I think the four will hold the five to the corner and sort of follow the six out wide. It's probably going to turn four, four, fifth dog, but it is, it's got massive back straight pace, this dog. So I just think there's less traffic problems for Sanchez rather than Jake, but they'd be the two dogs that I'd have at the top of the uh, top of the list for the race. But it wouldn't be a race I really want to bet, but Barnside Sanchez would be the pick in the race. So Dog Guesser's selection in race two is trap four, Barnside Sanchez. Moving on to race three, it's an A3 over 483 metres. Springwell Fixer in one, Adraville Jet in two, Rosanda Silver in three, Scala Gold in four, Kalara Havar in five, and in six, Mustang Bailey. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I sided with Kalara Havar. Um, I think this is a, probably the best drawn dog on the on the race in the of the meeting. Even um, the one doesn't want the one. It's going to edge off ever so slightly. It beat the two in a trial from behind, which I was a bit surprised about. Um, the two is going to edge off. The four is edging in, so I couldn't have the three because it's the meat in the sandwich. I can't see the four how it gets a run. The one and the two are going to do each other. The three is going to get done. The six isn't good enough. I just think the five just got an absolute plot draw. Um, the 30-60 trial puts me off a little bit, but off her old form of sort of like 30-20, 30-30, just it'd be far too good for these. So, yeah, I sided with uh, Kalara Var. Um, I'd probably make this my nap, to be honest. So, Doggess's selection in race three is trap five, Kalara Havar, and that's his nap. Race four is a B4 over 450 metres. Bumblebee Poppy in one, Electria in two, Culmoan Prince in three, Tobagal Jet in four, Tanner's Mat in five, and in six, Burnfoot Blakey. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I am with Bumblebee Poppy. Um... Only on the basis that she's got an absolute plot draw with the two moving right off into sort of the four lane. Um, the three's got no early pace, so the three's not going to be there. I think the four will actually lead here. Um, the five is going to cut down, though, sort of towards the bend, but it takes a step right first before it actually cuts in, and I think the four will just get away from the outside duo. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really trappy race. Like I'm, The one and the four are going to go around together, but... I think the four might actually just lead around there if, if it does everything right, but it's not tied to 
but the one off the draw, like you can't really be against it. Like it, it's probably not quite the class, and the two could pitch in and pick it off. But yeah, the one's just got an absolute plot, and I couldn't really be against it, especially if it does lead, and then it's got the four on its tail. I just thought it was the more solid of the sort of the two options, and I don't think the four is quite the class either. But and the two's gonna have to do it the hard way. So yeah, I was with the one, but again, it wouldn't be a strong selection, but it is a plot draw. So Doggess's selection in race four is trap one, Bumblebee Poppy. Race five is a B2 over 450 metres. Away Bailey in one, Paradise Kia in two, Cape Roll in three, Cloudy and Bright in four, Broadland Blaze in five, and in six, Glaze Ranger. Doggesser, what do you fancy? Um, I am going to go with... Paradise Kia. Um, look, the Free Dog has some ridiculous Irish form with a 28.47 on its card at Shelburne Park. Um, it's trialled in, I think it's done a 27.87 or something along them yeah. lines. It looks better than these, if I'm being honest. But the only problem is I just don't see how it gets a run. Kia, she pushed off from the free box last week. I, I know like me and Vicky have debates on Twitter about what box she wants, but I genuinely think she's a three or a four bitch. And I think she'll hamper the three if she comes away. So while the three is the best dog in the race, I just don't see how it gets a run. I mean, the one has a plot draw for me, but I just don't think it's good enough. Uh, Cloudy and Bright's going to lead. The five will stop the six from going to the corner, so I couldn't have the six. I can't really have the five, if I'm being honest. So I just think Kia might, I mean, she's going to struggle to get a run with the still with the pace inside her, but I just think she'll get sort of first look at the four and the one. And um, if she does, then I think she'll pick them off. But it's a race that I got a bit excited about when I saw the Irish form of the three, but then obviously realising the draw, I'd, I just couldn't really be with the three. But yeah, it's uh, not a race I like, but yeah, Paradise Kia, that'd be my selection. So Doggess's selection in race five is trap two, Paradise Kia. Race six is a D3 over 275 metres. Cariel Tiger in one, Alchemist Duke in two, Be Proud in three, Eden Bolt in four, Host in five, and in six, Mossy. Doggesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I picked Alchemist Duke. Um, he's the type of dog that doesn't really want to win. So it tells you my feelings on the race. Um, the one's got a good draw again. But again, I have it like a 17, 70, 80 type. Uh, the three, I don't think it's good enough. The four, five and the six, are, you know, the sort of back end D3 dogs. Whereas I think Duke is a proper D3 dog. But again, he's a type of dog that he doesn't like winning he's not really got sprinters pace he will do something wrong and he'll probably get chinned um, but he's the obvious play in the race um, I have it more of a, like a D3 slash D4 like so yeah I, I'm with Alchemist Duke but it's not a race I like and I wouldn't really want to bet him if I'm being honest unless he was sort of like 3 to 1 plus So Doggess's selection in race 6 is trap 2 Alchemist Duke race 7 is a B3 over 450 metres. Ryu Abbey in one. Kill Barry Cream in two. Argaburan Gent in three. Burnfoot Buick in four. Indian Lad in five. And in six, Wanted Me Teddy. Doggesser, what do you fancy? Um, I sided with Argaburan Gent. Um, it's getting closer to where it wants to be. Um, for me, it probably wants the two box. It's been diving to the rails from the four and the five. Um, I actually think it could clear the two and the one here, to be honest. I think if it can come away like it can, it'll probably get round and, and, and win quite comfortably. But it's just a dog that never does it quite right at the traps. Or if it does, it does it very rarely. Um, I thought the four might be worth a chance as well, Burnfoot Buick. I mean, the five's a wide runner. The six is a wide runner and the three is going to dive to the rails. So the four is going to, it's going to have space and the and the four beat the five as well. The uh, the last time they met and did a 28-20 odd, um, albeit the wides were running better that day. But 
yeah, I think I, I had it between the three and the four, but I ended up with uh, Agrabah and Jenk because I think it's got a bit, a little bit more flexibility about it. It can probably do it more uh, both ways. So Dog gets the selection in race seven. Is trap three Agrabah and Jenk. Race eight is a B two over four hundred and fifty meters. Black Illusion in one, Thorny Bush in two, Bohemian Bruno in three, Barnside Matter in four. Three inside in five and in six. Bandside Betty, dog guesser. What do you fancy? Um, I was with Bohemian Bruno. Um, again, I think it's a bit of a match between the three and the six. The one and two are both skin dogs. I don't think the two will lead the one, so I won't be able to have that. Um, the four has a lot of pace to clear and the last time Bruno and Matter met there wasn't a lot between them going to the corner and then the three destroyed it down the back and I think Bruno's only going to keep coming on for the runs um, three inside for me wants a tiny bit further in four inside uh, better he's got a very good draw but probably doesn't have the pace of these um, but it will be f finishing late I just think the three could get round here I think it can clear the one and the two and I think it can hold the four to the corner and if he does that, I think he'll explode down the back and, and beat these. Like um, He's just showing little signs of life, of coming back to sort of some of his better form. So I'd be willing to take a chance on Bruno. Um, but I do think the six is the danger that will be flying on late. So Dog Gesser's selection in race eight is trap three, Bohemian Bruno. Race nine is a B3 over 450 metres. Money Gal Lad in one, Corin Bolt in two. Liz Duff Ella in three, Fantasy Moon in four, Bettyville Eske in five, and in six, Burnfoot Tango. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, being honest, I don't. <laughs> um, I don't like anything here. It's a really trappy race. Um, the one won, I think, about eight or nine lengths last time um, was very impressive. But it's got a little bit more pace outside at this time. Um, the four is probably the likely leader. Um, and if the one could hold the inside, I'd, I'd be with the one. Uh, money go, lad. I think it could back run the four. The five run a really debut. Showed, missed the break completely. Paced up like a lunatic. Run the bend awful. Showed snatches of pace down the back, getting done a couple of times. And then run the bend awful again and stayed on a little bit. <sighs> I can't make a case for it today, but, you know, going forward, I think if it got a dropping grade, it might have a chance. And if it started to learn a little bit as well. Um, the five and the six, were, I think they weren't, there was nothing between them last week, but the, I much prefer the uh, the five over the six from last week's run. But yeah, I, I would be with Money Gal Lad. I think he might be able to lead all the two and the three to the corner and just track the four around and maybe pick it off. But it wouldn't be a strong selection, to be honest. So Dog Guesser's selection in race nine is trap one, Money Gal Lad. Race 10 is a B6 over 450 metres. Castle Hale Violet in one, Bellagio Breeze in two, Santro Lily in three, Burnfoot Lexi in four, Lutton's Rona in five, and in six, Shay's Gift. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I was with... Uh, Burnfoot Lexi in four. Um, I watched her sprint back and she fell out, showed very, very good pace up, um, got done at the corner. She checked off wide at the corner and then she proceeded to run on like an absolute lunatic after the line as well. Um, she looks like a bitch with a lot of pace. She's trialed in at 29.01, which to be honest, I think that could win the race. But I think she's got a little bit more in her than that, to be honest. Uh, the two will probably lead the insides. But I just think the four will, if it comes away, you know, it has to break. He can't break it like break like it did in the sprint. But if the four was to break, I think she'd go around here and, and, and put these to the sword, to be honest. Um, the six would be interesting, down in grade. Uh, it's just a bit of a clumsy dog. I think it's one like one from 25, one from 26 starts. Uh, yeah, I would be with him. Um, Burnfoot Lexi, I think it's the most unexposed. Wouldn't have to do anything from the trial to win the race. So, yeah, I'd be with uh, Burnfoot Lexi. So, Dog Guesser's selection in race 10 is trap four, Burnfoot Lexi. Race 11 
is a B6 over 450 metres, Dex Faro in one, Rosanda Serena in two, Lone Jet in three, Redrick Riley in four, Burnfoot Lulu in five, and in six, Bellagio Bye Bye. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am with Rosanda Serena, and I've got her my next best. I look, she's a certainty to clear the insides. She's come out of a B5, and I know this is a B6 in name, but this is a B7. You know, these are B7 dogs. The three's not showing anything. The four's not really showing anything, to be honest. The five's paceless, but does stay a little bit. And really the same with the six. I think she's, you know, she's paceless and she doesn't really, she stays a little bit, but nothing too strong. Um, and she's not a great breaker either. Like, I, I just really couldn't have the one, three or the six. Um, I Like I said, I think, I know Serena's like seven week season, something like that, but... She's an absolute certainty to lead round here. And if she, if she leads round, she's going to probably do 29 dead, you know, sort of 28, 90. Um, and yeah, I just think, I think she's a winner, but you know, the season would be a bit of a concern, but again, she's like I say, it's a really good spot for her and it's a massive, massive downgrade from a B5 into sort of a, a B7 really. So Dog Guesser's selection for race 11 is trap two, Rosanda Serena. Race 12 is a B7 over 450 metres. Curry Hills Toe in one. Financial Aid in two. Breaker Day Ebony in three. Bellagio Bond in four. Breaker Day Diamond in five. And in six, Hilltop Boozer. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? I am with um, Bellagio Bond. Um, I had it between the two and the four. Uh, the one for me isn't running well. The three just never really comes away, and it's a bit paceless as well, to be honest. The five never traps and doesn't really show anything. The six is a dog who'll just plod around wide and just sort of do her own thing and sort of run a 29 30. But I think the two unexposed dogs here, like Bellagio Bond's got a far better draw this time um, with a proper chance of getting on the skin. And I think if he was to get on the skin, I think he could do a 29-20. And the two, I watched it sprint as well, and it showed flashes of pace and sort of run on a little bit afterwards. Um, but And I think it's better suited as well in the two box. Um, but yeah, I, I'd be with the four below Joe Bond. I think it's a clear chance to get on the skin. You know, there's no pace in the race. And if it could do a 29-30, 29-20, I think that would be enough to win this, to be honest. So Dog Guesser's selection for race 12 is trap four, Bellagio Bond. Race 13 is a D3 over 275 metres. Kingsmill Coyote in one, Sunrose in two, Lutton's Millie in three, Cali in four, Ballymac Monday in five, and in six, Custodian. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I'm with Cali. Um, basically, the four and the five are D2 dogs, and they found their way into a D3. Um, they would be much better placed being in the in race 14, to be honest, which is a D2. Uh, yeah, the two and the three and the six, I just think are completely outgraded. The one has a nice makeup, and it can run the, the one, but it just can't go with Cali and Mundy. Cali and Mundy at the best are 17, sort of 10, 17, 20 sprinters. Um, I think Cali will hold Mundy. Um, Mundy wasn't running great before he was off. Um, so on that basis, I am going to go with Cali. And I think I think it's a good thing, really. I think anything sort of six to four plus, I'd be happy enough betting. So Dog Guesser's selection for race 13 is trap four, Cali. The final race, race 14, is a D2 over 275 metres. Justin's Destiny in one, Dominica in two, Ballymax CC in three, Miguel Blue in four, We Rocco in five, and in six, Sansa Snow. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? I'm with Justin's Destiny for Theo Thompson in the one. Um, Look, you have to go back a long way to find some of his better form. Like, he's got a 17.06 on his card at Newcastle. He's got some sub-15 seconds at Pilo Grange, which would be very handy. Some 15.80s at uh, Sunderland, which would be on its way to being top class. 
Um, the trials at Doncaster are okay. Um, the first trial, I think, was about a 70-odd, and then it came down to a 50-odd and a 40-odd. But if you notice one thing there, the weight was coming down massively. Um, it looks like the ideal weight would be about sort of 36.5. Um, it's been trialling at like 39, 38, and then 37.5 last. So I'm hoping it's a little bit lighter tomorrow. Dominica is a bitch that's won like one from 22 or something on, on Doncaster. Um, she can run, you know, she did a 17.30 odd last time, but, you know, she wouldn't go with the one if it's anything like right. Uh, Ballymac CC is very closely matched with the five, I think. I think they're like 17.30, 40 types. Maybe a little bit more than that, to be honest. Uh, Magical Blue, Blue did um, a 17.30. 22 when winning um i think it might have been monday night actually yeah. and it won a, a pretty weak d3 to be honest but it beat king's mill coyote um look i think she's just getting to the point now where she'll be sort of hitting the barrier of what she can win but this would be winnable if the one isn't anything special like you know this will be this will be very winnable but i do think the one if you just go back through the form it looks like it's got some miles better form than these um, but obviously it'll just depend on how fit and sort of how the weight is. Santa Snow's not really a sprinter, and I think, like I say, the three and the five are very closely matched. But yeah, I'll be with Justin's destiny. Um, I think, I think if as long as everything's right for it tomorrow, I think um, it'll go close. So Dogger's selection for race fourteen is Trap One, Justin's destiny. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you click that subscribe button. Cheers. <laughs>